Now she's live in Pacifica this morning with more on an earthquake that hit about six o'clock this morning and Ooh. you are getting some of that wet weather and wind there, Jocelyn, and an area where a lot of people mm -hmm. were just kind of jolted out of bed this morning because of that uh, earthquake. Me. Yeah, Jenna, people are dealing with quite a few things this morning. We can really talk about two stories here. One is the wind. We've really seen it pick up. As you can see, we in here. If you look at the trees here, I'm not sure if we can show you, but the wind has really picked up just in the last few minutes that we did get here. Um, so, yeah, residents are dealing with quite a bit this morning. They're dealing with this rainy weather. They're dealing with this wind. They're also, you know, like you mentioned, they woke up and felt a jolt this morning. We're about seven minutes away from uh, where the U.S. Uh, Geological Survey says this initial jolt happened. That was uh, near Pacifica Sharp Park, that neighborhood there. So we're about seven minutes away from there. But two aftershocks followed, each at magnitude 2.6, just minutes later. This is how it happened uh, on our KPIX seismograph. If you see here, more than about 200. 150 people already reported to USGS saying that they felt it and it was pretty widespread around the Bay Area as far as south of Santa Cruz or south of Santa Cruz there as far as people feeling it. We also have word that BART uh, was holding uh, BART trains were holding their positions that did lift about five minutes later. We just heard uh, from BART when it comes to that and we're seeing reaction already on social media. Most clearly not ready to be waken up by the quake. Someone says you can see there. Thankfully, no reports of injuries or damage right now. We've reached out to USGS for more information. Of course, we are going to keep you updated as soon as we know more. Gianna, like we mentioned, no reports of any damage. We haven't seen that right now, but we are going to keep an eye on this wind here because it has significantly picked up in just the last couple of minutes. I know our uh, photojournalist Shannon right now is having, we are both having some trouble just keeping our positions here, especially as she's holding the camera. Uh, so we're going to be keeping an eye on this, of course, being careful out on the roadways because you're going to be dealing with this wind and you're dealing with those wet roadways so we're as far as showing you what's going on we're in a pretty good position right now Gianna yeah seeing all those trees behind you Jocelyn just sort of blowing around yeah be extra careful yeah. through there and hopefully we'll get to check in with some residents I got a lot of text messages yeah. from people in and around there about yeah. the earthquake same